Hey folks, uh, I'm Owl, this is Yarn Owl Reads, and this is going to be a pretty quick and probably unedited video in which I tell you about my OWLs TBR. So the OWLs, or Owls, are a readathon that is uh, like based on the concept of the ordinary wizarding level exams from Harry Potter. And while Harry Potter is a problematic series and its creator is a problematic human, um, it is still something that holds a lot of like nostalgic value to me and was very integral in my development as a human. So, and on top of that, the readathon is fun. And I feel like having fun with something while also acknowledging that it has flaws is a thing. So anyway, I will link the announcement video for the readathon below that uh, it's created by Book Roast, I think is the account. There, uh, I believe that this person uses she pronouns. Uh, she is amazing and puts so much work into this and it's just like, I'm flabbergasted. Uh, so this is actually, this is a several part readathon. The OWLs are now the month of April and the N-E-W-T-S, N-E-W-T, the newts, uh, I think they're in August. And depending on what classes you pass during the OWLs, that determines which prompts you can use for the newts. It's all very cool and like really well developed. But anyway, my goal for this readathon is to pass all of the classes essentially. So read a book in each um, in each subject prompt. Prompt. So let's talk about what those are. So for ancient ruins, uh, the heart ruin is the like basis of this uh, prompt. They all have bases in the um, subject in some way, even if it's not necessarily immediately apparent. And I didn't write down what the actual like prompt was. I just wrote down how it uh, like applied to my reading. So I may get some of that wrong. You should, if you're interested, you should absolutely look at the content Book Roast creates. It is absolutely amazing. Anyway, Ancient Runes is heart on the cover or in the title. And for that, I am going to be trying to read A Dream So Dark by L.L. L. McKinney. I didn't write down the author, so that's going to end up being interesting. Um, this is a sequel to A Blade So Black, which I also haven't read. That will be coming up later in the TBR. Um, but I will... I've been wanting to read this series forever. I just finally bought the first one. So yeah, I'm excited to give that a go. There's a thing on my screen. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. So that's the first one. Arithmancy is uh, something outside your favorite genre. So I think this one is like uh, assessing the properties of the number two, which is opposites. And so that's why it's something outside your favorite genre. And for that, I am going to try reading a self-help book because that is non- I, I decided that nonfiction was like the genre I read the least of like furthest from my normal reads. And then within that, I decided that I don't think I've ever read a self-help book or like, anyway. So I'm gonna be trying to read, um, I think it's The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. Uh, a lot of people have heard of Marie Kondo. This is just, this is her book. Um, I've heard it's really good. I've heard it does really good things and like is super, I, I've heard some people with similar mental health things as me uh, say that this was really helpful and like they felt really seen and like accepted. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. I love the idea of if it sparks joy, keep it. If it doesn't spark joy, yeet it. So that. Uh, astronomy is the next subject. And this one I don't actually have a book for. There's two I don't. So I'm actually gonna leave astronomy and divination to the end of the video. So we'll come back to that. 
Uh, Care of Magical Creatures is a book with a beak on the cover. So we're studying hippogriffs. They have beaks. And for that, I will be reading, or I'm going to hopefully be reading, all of these are like, they might get switched out. But on my TBR is The Tyrant's Tomb by Rick Riordan, um, which is the fourth book in the, oh God, what is it? The newest one, uh, The Trials of Apollo series. So I've read one through three. It's time I read four. I'm worried it's going to emotionally destroy me because I am assuming this is a five book series and his other five book series book four is like where things really hit the fan so we can really up the stakes for book five in the conclusion so I'm gonna give that a go should be fun um the whole cut sorry I should actually be telling you a little bit more about these um the Trials of Apollo is a book set in Rick Riordan's, like, overall universe. All of his series are set in the same universe. This one is in his Greek mythology section. Um, and Apollo gets sent to Earth and then has to deal with these trials. Therefore, it's the Trials of Apollo. <laughs> um, it doesn't make... I mean, it makes sense, but like, it makes more sense if you've read the other books, so just, it's pretty far into his series. You should read Percy Jackson and Heroes of Olympus before you read this one. Um, anyway, so there's that, and then I'll tell you about A Dream So Dark when I get to the next one. So Charms is the next class, uh, and it's to read something with a white cover. I think that the spell we're studying is Lumos... Maximus. Anyway, the book I'm reading with a white cover is A Blade So Black by L. L. McKinney. And this series is, I had it described to me as it's Buffy meets Alice in Wonderland, but Buffy slash Alice is black. And like, I've never been a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland but I loved Buffy and I just heard such great things about this that like I'm willing to look past the Alice in Wonderland and like give it a try. I think I'm going to love it. So I'm hoping, I'm planning to read books one and two in this series during April. The next one is Defense Against the Dark Arts. So um, the, that's the pants pile. The uh, topic we're studying is uh, Grindelos. So the prompt is to read a book that takes place on the coast or at sea or something like that. So I am planning to read The Deep by Amakatsu. This is a complicated concept. Um, the idea of it is that okay so it's sort of set in two timelines i haven't read it yet so like this description might be totally off but as i understand it um it's set on the titanic and the main character is like a like a maid on the Titanic and she survives and then several years later sorry that's the heater several years later on the Titanic's, Titanic's sister ship the Britannia something like that uh, she is also working as a maid and sees somebody that she knows died on the Titanic so it's like ocean horror which is just my favorite thing in the whole world um and it's like and it's like horror might be too strong but it's like it's got ocean it's got creepy vibes it seems like it's gonna be some sort of a ghost story maybe there's a curse involved i don't know i am super interested and also i had this thing in february where it's like i'm going to read a bunch of books called the deep and talk about them and the vlog of that might be dead in the water. Um, we'll see how that goes, but this was the last one on that list. So I'm reading it. 
Uh, the next course is Herbology, where we're studying uh, that, like, cactus plant that Neville has, a Mimulus Mimbosa or something like that. The prompt is to read something that starts with M, and I'm reading Miles Morales by Jason Reynolds. Uh, this is a novelization of the Spider-Man version that is Miles Morales. Um, I love Miles. I was only really in, like, I sort of, I knew about him, but I was only really introduced to him in Into the Spider-Verse, and to be fair, I mostly watched that because I love Gwen Stacy so much. I love the Spider-Gwen comics, even though I'm not even close to caught up. I don't care. I love them. I love her. She's amazing. Anyway, all of that to say, I ended up also loving Miles Morales, and so this is going to be my first, like, reading of something with him in it. Um, other than the, like, I think he was in one of the, uh, like, Across the Spider-Verse comics that I read for, like, a second. Anyway, super excited about that, really looking forward to it, plus I have not read something by Jason Reynolds that I don't like, and so that's just fun, and I'm, ex I'm excited. Um, so for History of Magic, we are studying the witch hunt, so we're supposed to read something with a magical person in it, witch, wizard, magical person, something. Uh, so I'm going to be reading Akata Witch by, I think it's by Ngozi Ukazu, no, nope, that's not it, um, Nanetti Akorafor, there we go. This is a middle grade book about a girl who's a witch. Uh, it looks good. I'm gonna read it. I think I'm gonna like it. That's all I got. Um, for Muggle Studies, it's just read a contemporary book, and I'm going to hopefully be reading Would Like to Meet by, I have no idea, no clue who that one's by. So sorry. Um, but I think it's a woman who for some journalistic reason is intentionally creating meet cute setups to see if they work or something? I don't know. Um, and she ends up getting invested in a single dad, like a dad and his daughter. And single parents are a thing that I very much enjoy reading about, like especially when they're getting romances and happy ever afters. And so yeah, I could just, this seems like a nice fluffy romance, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Uh, potions. We are studying the shrinking solution, so we're reading something that's under 150 pages. So for this one, I'm going to be reading Binti by Ninetti Akorafor, and this is her sci-fi novella, and... Yeah, I actually don't know that much about it. Um, Vinti is the main character. She is going to a school, and I think she's like the first black person to be going to this school, and it's in space, and shenanigans ensue, something like that. I'm really excited about it. I've been meaning to read it forever. Uh, Sci-fi novellas are like d near and dear to my heart, like spec fic novellas just make me happy. So I'm gonna give it a go. And Transfiguration, uh, it was studying anime, animagi, animagi, uh, but it is a book that includes shape shifting. So I'm going to be reading something in the Mercy Thompson universe. I started my Mercy Thompson universe reread in I think October and November, and I was had had a really good clip. I was doing really well, and then 2020 happened, and I don't think I've read anything really since 2020 happened. Um, and so the new book is out. The whole goal of this was that I was going to read everything and then immediately read the the newest one. So that one's out, um, and I'm not there, but I'm still planning to finish that reread. And so because there is shape shifting in the Mercyverse, uh, because it's about like werewolves and shifters and all sorts of other uh, paranormal things, it's just it's an urban fantasy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited, so there's that. Uh, the two prompts that I don't have a specific book for are Astronomy 
and divination. So astronomy is uh, to read the majority of a book when it's dark out. So that's, I'm not gonna pick a particular book for that. I'll probably read like a graphic novel or a comic book or something one of these nights and then just like put it in there, count it. Um, and then for divination, it's to read a book that is randomly chosen. So like create a list of books or a TBR or something, use a random number generator to pick one of those books. Um, and I just, I haven't picked a book yet. I'm not, I didn't want to do it and then put it on the TBR because that makes it seem less random. I'm gonna do it and then like immediately start reading the book that's chosen because that's just how I personally am more likely to actually read a randomly chosen book. Uh, so I'll probably use, I've just been checking out some books from my library. I'll probably, whatever ones aren't on this TBR, I'll just put all those in a list and then roll for it. I've got so many dice. I love dice. Um, but yeah, so that's my OWL's TBR. I'm excited. I read a whole four books in March because March was just rough because 2020 has just sort of been rough. Um, but things are okay. And they're not horrible. I mean, they are horrible, <laughs> but I'm okay, uh, shockingly. And I'm really excited about this and feeling good about it and actually think I can read, what is that, 12, yeah, 12 books this month and like cover all of these prompts. So anyway, that's it. I'm excited about the OWLs. Uh, if you're participating, let me know. Drop your TBRs in the comments below. Um, I hope you liked hanging out with me while I got my laundry sorted. I'm gonna go put it in the washer now, but I will see you later. Bye!